everybody, if you had to give the topic of conversation here, you know, what's, what's the topic of conversation here? Clearly, what, like, what's the umbrella, overall concept? What would you say it is? Angles. Okay, cool. Now, when we're talking about angles, you know, we could be talking about angles on a straight line, uh, just regular angles. We could be talking about angles inside of shapes. You know, if we had to give a little more information, we're talking about angles and what? Angles and triangles. Yes, absolutely. So look, even if you don't know the formula or whatever it is that we're talking about, I hope you can tell that by reading this, even if you were lost, you can say, hey, oh, uh, we're looking for the measure of the third angle and it's inside of a triangle, right? Even if you don't know what to do after the step, everybody, is it true that you should be able to identify those really big math words like the angle inside of a triangle. Does that make sense so far? Again, even if you were lost, we should be able to identify those words. That's the key here. Remember my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself see all the mistakes that you've made, and then keep raising your score with those video solutions, organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score. No excuses, it's completely free, so go ahead and click the link there or in the description. That way you can get started, raise your score, and do everything you need to do. Let's ace the ASVAB, but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up. Exactly, so the next question is gonna be, hey, how do we find that third angle inside of a triangle? So my math party people, let me ask you this. What mathematical fact do you know about the angles of a triangle? What mathematical fact do we know? Now, some of us are saying, hey, 180, 180, measure, they measure 180. They add up to 180. Can anybody tell me, well, okay, even if they do add up to 180, I don't have as much experience as you. Can you tell me how many angles? Is it one, two, three, four, seven? Can we be specific here? Three. When you add up the three angles, you get 180 degrees. That's how we wanna say it in our heads because that's how we'll stay calm under pressure. The, the, you, gotta, you gotta repeat it to yourself a few times as well to get it down, but we don't wanna be what I would say lazy, which is not really truly lazy, we just are incomplete in the way that we say things. When we practice, it's way too important to be clear, direct, and whole in what we say. So here is what we got. In a triangle, angle one plus angle two plus angle three equals 180 degrees. Yes or no, does that make sense? Angle one plus angle two plus angle three equals 180 degrees. Good. Now, here's what we'll do. We have this mathematical fact that applies to this problem. We're gonna take the information we have and plug it in. What do we know? We know that two of these angles, again, two of these angles inside of the triangle are 43 degrees and 76 degrees. Okay, cool. So I'll go ahead and write those in. I'll write in 43 degrees plus 76 degrees plus, and I'll just say X. I don't know what the third angle is, but I'll just say plus X. It's gonna add up to 180. Before I continue, everybody, are we cool with what we just did? We identified the formula and we have now successfully plugged in what we have. Notice, very similar to the first question, right? Identify the formula, plug in what you got, or identify the process and go through it. Like, it has to be quick, it has to be quick. And even if you didn't know it, now you do, now we have a better shot next time. So here, well, let's go ahead and clean some things up. Everybody, what's 43 plus 76? 
And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ASVAB party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description, sign up, keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. What is 43 plus 76? 119. So right here, that's gonna become 119. And then lastly, what we're gonna do, well, let's get that X by itself. <clears throat> if we know that 119 plus whatever X is is gonna give us 180, then I would figure that if I take away the 119, I'll figure out what that gap is, what that missing angle is. So that's exactly what we'll do. We'll subtract 119 from both sides. That's gonna cancel out on the left side, leaving us with just X equals what? Yeah, and if you're using some mental math, I can go ahead and say, hey, look, 119 is really close to 120, so just add one. Then from 120 to 180, that's 60. So if I go up one, then go up 60, 61. Or you can do the, tr the traditional way, taking a little longer and saying, okay, I gotta go ahead and borrow 10 minus nine, that's gonna be one, seven minus six, or seven minus one is six. Yeah, you can do it whatever, whatever way you want. It's all good. But either way, you're gonna see that that missing angle is 61 degrees. Booyah. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now, and then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score, and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.